Hey friends, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about how to buy a bond. So basically, um, you can use whatever brokerage account that you have to buy a bond. Uh, I'm just going to show you here on the DJR platform. Um, before we jump right into it, I'm just going to share with you what is a bond. A bond is basically a, a financial instrument. Typically, a government or a corporation will kind of issue bonds. Bonds usually have a lower risk compared to um, for example, stocks or other higher risk investments. So um, I'll just show you here. The advantages of bonds is that you in receive interest payments. You get to hold the bond up to maturity um, and you get your principal back. Uh, you profit if you resell the bond at a higher price. Some of the disadvantages of the bonds is that you may get lower returns than stocks because uh, the common understanding, the common rule of thumb is that the lower risk, the lower reward, the higher risk, higher reward. So if you're a conservative investor, you want to invest, um, but in something that has a lower risk, a bond may be the option for you. So companies can also default in their bonds. So usually if you are a lower risk person, you want to invest in bonds, or if you're um, advanced along in age, you'd want to invest in high risk investments, bonds might be an option for you. Or if you have uh, a diversified portfolio, you might want to invest, uh, have a small holdings in bonds, uh, that's an option to you as well. So I'll just show you here on the DJRA platform. Um, first of all, you just click login. So you just need to put in your username and your password and you just click login. After you've logged in, it'll bring you to this page. So this is just a home page. What you need to do is go to products. So there's uh, all the different types of products. You just click on bonds. So it will bring you to this page. So this is the bonds page. So um, you can invest in either government or corporate bonds. So depending on which one is your preference, then there's also the stock market. So there's uh, all over the country, uh, in all over the world, uh, many countries. So you can invest in uh, depending on which market they want to invest in. So this is basically all the types of products, um, the pricing, the currency, and uh, the symbol. So for like example, this one, for finance, 1625, so not too sure what this is. So I went ahead and Google it. So I'm just going to click here. So when I Googled it, it brought me to this page. So I can see that, okay, this is a, a type of bond. Um, the last price was 99 uh, euros. Uh, it provides me information about this, this type of bond. So the coupon is 11.25%. So that's quite high. Uh, the interest payment dates, um, I'm just going to scroll down here. So it's portfolio is, um, the volume it's in euros. So the trading date is uh, from 2016 and maturity at 2025. So, okay, kind of get a little bit. So it's issued in 2016, maturity in 2025. And um, this is basically a, a type of bond that has a coupon rate that's quite high, 11.25%. So if you're not sure about what is the information here, you can definitely Google that. Uh, um, I find that really helpful. And basically there's a chart here so you can see the the, the price movement, uh, how the price has moved up and down and up and down. And uh, here below is also the, the pricing. So you definitely uh, can see the information here. Um, let's look at another one. So you can kind of see, um, sometimes they put the information there for you. Sometimes they might not have the information. So like for this AAB, you can see the coupon rate is at 2.5% and this date uh, is the maturity date, 29 November, 2023. So basically it shows me it's on this Euronet exchange. I can see the volume, the turnover uh, for this bond. Um, it shows me the, the intraday price, the history. So um, all the information that if I want to know more that might not be available on that brokerage account. So I'm just gonna look at the characteristics. So I can see here it's on the Euronext Amsterdam exchange and it's a medium term uh, note. So I'll just scroll down and see here. So the repayment date that they have here is 29 November 2023. So they've actually uh, mentioned it here, 29 November 2023. And um, also their interest rate. So the interest rate is at 2.5% annually. So um, sometimes they might kind of list it here so where you can see the coupon rate and you can see the maturity date uh, sometimes they might not have it so then you can uh, just google it all the information is uh, on the internet 
and then if you want to know um, the volume its historical um, and what type of bond it is uh, medium long term uh, note you can definitely see all the information here and uh, that's basically it so typically if you want to buy you can just come here buy so if you want to buy you just click buy then there's a drop down you can see which option works for you and then uh, whether day order or good to close and then you just fill in uh, the amount that you want and then you just click place order so that's basically how you buy a, a bond uh, on the Dijara platform it's, it's not too complicated quite straightforward and buying bonds is quite suitable for anyone that wants to still invest in, in a financial instrument that provides them a return but at a lower risk so uh, a bond might be a good option so thank you so much again for watching this video i hope you found this video helpful let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions uh be sure to smash the subscribe button ring the bell notification and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks guys